Arguably, Nathaniel Green never won a tactical engagement. Some people would like to debate a couple of engagements. I think that they're more accurately described as draws. Without argument, though, Nathaniel Green lacked a signature tactical victory. There was never a clear-cut battle in which he could congratulate himself for having won a tactical engagement against the British Army, and in the end, it did not matter. He was widely regarded after the war and henceforth has been regarded as perhaps the most gifted American strategist of the American Revolution and one of the most gifted American strategists of all of American military history because he fought engagements that were calculated to produce operational advantages. The Battle of Guilford Courthouse is one of the battles that he putatively lost. He didn't hold the field at the end of the day, Cornwallis did. Yet, he had inflicted casualties on the British Army, which gained absolutely nothing for taking a hill that meant nothing to Cornwallis. And afterward, Cornwallis despaired of having any kind of military success in the South that actually translated into a strategic victory. And so he retired to the coast and then went up to Virginia in search of lower-hanging strategic fruit. But instead, he dug for himself a trap at Yorktown.